so um, when we're feeding via the feeding tube, um, you will be um, provided with two attachments. So I'll show you how to use both of the attachments. Um, so you'll find the patient will have the dressing over like this. So you want to just pull, pull it back. You'll be provided with um, some little wipes just to wipe the area before you attach. So you can just clean this area like this. Um, you'll be provided with all the syringes that you need as well. Um, so we're going to start with using this attachment. So hold the tube and it's the red attachment. Just make sure that this is um, shut off, otherwise you'll get some liquid come out of it. And push it into the center and you'll hear it a little click and it needs to go all the way down. And then get your tube ready, open it up. You might get a little bit of content that comes back. So you just have your syringe as ready as possible. And then just very slowly start to give the feed or the water. So this is just water that's going down at the moment. So very gently, nice and slow, keeping an eye on your patient for any signs of any discomfort or nausea. So any licking of the lips or if they, if they get a bit restless, then just stop. There we go. So once we're finished, again, sometimes you get a little bit of leakage out. Um, so if you just pull the whole thing, then that's the best way. If you just pull the syringe out, you'll get the leakage. Um, these little attachments need to be stored in sterilisation. So we use the Milton sterilisation formula because it's really gentle um, and easily accessible. If you're using this attachment, it works the same. It's still got the same um, part that goes into the tube. So it just has this, this shut off valve here as well. So again, you just attach it via the tube in the same fashion, push it in and then attach your syringe to the end. If you're finding you have resistance, it might be that this valve is still shut. So you want to open the valve and slowly give your liquid and then it just pulls off exactly the same. If you're going to be using this one, you ideally want to be filling it with water first so you don't give the patient air. And that is it.